We're here with J.N. who's completing his program in vision therapy. Uh, sometimes people think that vision therapy is only for children. Obviously, it's certainly for adults as well. What do you put into your own words? What kind of problems you felt that you had in the beginning? Um, the difficulties and how you've been able to solve those problems? Yeah, initially I was struggling with um, uh, having terrible dizziness. Um, difficulty. Um, I, I do a tremendous amount of uh, office work and reading and studying and uh, really struggling on with focusing. Um, uh, a tons of anxiety related to that. Um, sometimes the dizziness would be so bad I'd have to just, you know, lay down. It, it would take, just ruin the better part of a week for me. It was just severely affecting my way, my quality of life, and even threatening my career. I, I didn't, I didn't know if I'd be able to work anymore and do what I do. And what do you notice now after you've gone through therapy? The transformation um, has been tremendous. Um, uh, it is, it's been a, a long road, and uh, doc, Dr. Roth has used the the illustration of the stock market, where, you know, and kind of you know. Sometimes there are, there are weeks where you'd be frustrated and not know, and you'd have your setbacks, but all in all, you know, you're up over the, the, the length of time, and, and that's the truth. And there are a lot of ups and downs, but um, now, you know, six months out, um, uh, my, my quality of life is much better. Um, I do not have those debilitating, um, um, you know, periods of dizziness. Um, I, the anxiety it is gone. Um, I'm able to work. Uh, my career is, is no longer in jeopardy whatsoever. Um, just a tremendous blessing. You mentioned that, that you're able to concentrate better. Yes. Good. Yes. How did you work therapy into your busy life? Yeah, that, that, was, that was a challenge, but it, it was, I was so desperate. Um, it, it was my quality of life was so down that, uh, you know, I just carved the time out. I worked with my employer. And uh, I, I just carved the time out for that, you know, it was a half hour drive for me here, an hour for therapy and a half hour, you know, ride home. But um, it was worth it. It, re it really was, it was worth it. And I, I was extremely disciplined every day. Um, very rarely missed a day of doing the, the exercises that were prescribed to me by my vision therapist. And the analogy that we draw in is kind of like playing the piano or, or learning how to how to, how to play golf or speak Spanish. Okay, you not only need to go in for the lesson, you have to go home and you have to reinforce it. You have mm -hmm. to practice the piano. Sure. But in this case, it means doing the, the 20 minutes worth of, of, of home therapy to reinforce what you learned here in therapy so that you own the skill ultimately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Any other parting words? Any other things <laughs> that, that you want to yeah, I, I would say that if you go for it, that you know you stay the course, that you you communicate. That was one of you know the best things I did. I was very intentional about communicating, you know, what I was feeling, the setbacks I had, the gains that I had, and just uh, you know working through it and uh, really staying staying the course was really the thing because there were weeks where I wondered, oh my goodness, is this working or not? There was a period of time where I plateaued for maybe a, a good month. And uh, it was just incredible, you know, by the grace of God, I was able to, you know, bust through that wall and, you know, turn the corner and uh, make the gains that I've had. What, what did your wife notice? <laughs> my, I think my wife just having me back, you know, not having the, the anxiety, not having to, you know, lay down and, you know, be, you know, in my bedroom, you know, because I felt so dizzy, um, just, you know, being with my kids and being able to engage them more. Uh, again, quality of life is just, you know, huge. Great. Thank you so much for sharing. You're welcome.